good morning everyone uh, i know you all are very happy to see your college and uh, i also know that you all are eagerly waiting to be back hope this covid situation gets clear again and uh, we all can meet again and we can have you know <laughs> the normal classes as we used to have earlier so the topic which i'll be telling you today uh, dear students it will be uh, regarding the uh, preparation of partners capital account now you all have learnt when a new partner is admitted into the organization how to calculate the profit sharing ratio of all the partners and also you have learnt how to calculate the how to find the sacrificing ratio of the old partners so today's class it will be about uh, how to prepare the partners capital account and uh, also i'll uh, tell you how to prepare the revaluation account of assets and liabilities okay revaluation account itself is about assets and liabilities that i'll tell you in detail once we start that so now uh, because this partnership firm it is uh, being run by the partners it becomes very important to uh, make a note of every transaction pertaining to the partners we know that partnership organization it is run by two or more people and whatever profit and losses are coming they'll be sharing among themselves so there comes the need where the capital account the partners account let us say it has to be maintained to know how much capital they have invested how much capital uh, they have put into the company in case if they have got any additional capital which they have kept it into the organization that which partner has given uh, how much of capital then uh, the capital once they put it in the organization they get interest on capital how much interest on capital will be going to the partners in case if they have withdrawn any uh, amount for their personal expenses how much amount uh, they have taken let us say a b c three partners are there who are running the business organization so here it becomes very compulsory to maintain the accounts of all the three partners why to know whose share is how much into the organization how much the company is liable to uh, give them back okay for example let us say a has taken drawings of 50000 so we'll write it in the books of a that drawings 50000 is taken in case if a is being uh, given a commission of 10000 that will be written if b is given a commission of uh, 5000 that will be written if c is given some 9000 that will be written in c's book accordingly so with this we'll have a clear a glimpse when you look at the account of that particular partner you will come to know well, how much amount the company is liable to pay them or is there any amount which we still have to get from the partners okay so basically these entries you'll have to remember dear students first and foremost thing how much capital they have invested then how much interest of capital they are getting in case if there are any drawings uh, which are done by the partners uh, how much they have taken then how much interest on dry, drawings they are paying to the company uh, and uh, any salaries are to be given any commissions are to be given any reserves which are there that is to be given these all things are to be recorded very clearly in the books of the uh, partners capital account so for that purpose we prepare it and at last we come to know how much balance their amount is still with the organization so basically for that uh, we prepare the partners capital account and uh, just in short i'll tell you whatever amount has to come or whatever amount uh, whatever uh, is uh, belonging to the partner we'll put it on the credit side of the account and uh, whatever the partner has to pay to the company that will be put towards the debit side of the account okay like uh, let us take an example commission payable the company so partner is receiving it so when a partner is receiving uh, generally how do we write when commission is to be commission is received cash account debited to commission account because cash is coming and commission is an income so this cash is with home it's going to be to uh, be with the partner so that is why partners account will be debited and we write it as partners capital account to commission account okay our proper uh, i'll not explain how to prepare a ledger account every time because now you all have crossed that stage and you have come further so from the journal entry when we write like this debit will be credit and credit will be debit and um, partners capital account we prepare it in two ways one is a fixed capital account and fluctuating capital account i'll be teaching you fluctuating capital account fixed capital account just for an idea here uh, two different accounts are prepared where uh, partners capital account is different from partners current account but here partners capital and current in fluctuating account will club both of them and we'll just show it in one account and whatever information we are writing here every account in accounts it is of just one year for the one accounting year will be recording all the transactions 
of uh, these uh, pertaining to these uh, partners so let us have a look in our uh, book now just uh, pay a close look at the format it will be more easy for you to understand your partner's capital account will look dear students have a look at the format debit side and credit side uh, debit side you have particulars and amounts and uh, amount and uh, credit side also you have particular and amount okay let us see credit side first credit side first we have by balance carried down now this account is uh, prepared for that particular financial year so the previous year balance how much amount of the partner is still in the company that balance will record here okay after that by bank account in case if any additional capital is put up by the partner that has to be shown commission so credit side we are writing all the amounts which has to go to the partner now see when a partner has this balance is something which the partner has to get additional capital which he has invested in the organization again uh, he has to get it back so this is amount which he'll be getting commission in case if there is any payable to the partner he'll have to get he'll be getting that salaries he'll be getting then interest on capital when he's investing this amount company will pay interest on that amount so that is interest on capital which he'll be receiving and at last we have uh, by profit and loss appropriation for share of profit so here profit and loss uh, children this is you know uh, appropriated means the distribution of uh, net profit and net loss of the organization which has to go to the partners all right then have a look profit and loss appropriation account it is separately prepared but uh, then we don't have it in our uh, uh, syllabus and also we won't be uh, using this profit and loss appropriation calculation in our uh, solving of sums so this is just for your knowledge uh, I have put it here like revaluation account we make to know the profit and loss uh, depending upon the assets and liabilities of the organization here from the profit and loss from the net profit and net loss uh, we'll come to the uh, share of profit whatever the partner has to get after preparing profit and loss appropriation okay debit side have a look to bank withdrawal of capital okay so in case if he has taken capital he'll have to give it back so it is uh, again not an income to the partner then drawings whatever drawings for personal use he has taken he'll have to give it back to the organization interest on drawing he'll have to pay to the company then in case if there is a uh, loss in profit and loss appropriation account he'll have to pay that amount to the company and at last after we post all these we'll get balance c by d so you just avoid you know don't get tensed about this this point i should have avoided it while writing itself okay so you'll have to remember this children opening balance you'll have you'll have the additional capital commission salaries interest on capital and uh, debit side you'll have withdrawal of capital if any which is uh, all the uh, amounts which are you know uh, will be going from the partner to the company will be written on debit whatever from company will be coming to the partner will be written on the credit side in partners capital account so this is partners capital account you will have it on page number 142 in your textbook you can just go through that as well all right so that is about partners capital account Okay. the next is uh, revaluation account now uh, re revaluation means again valuing so what are the partners valuing here they're valuing the assets and liabilities in the organization why they are valuing so that they can show the true position of the organization when a new partner is being admitted and one more important uh, thing you all will have to remember is uh, revaluation account is a nominal account and uh, because uh, with every increase in the asset the capital account of the partners will increase the old partners and every decrease in the uh, asset uh, you know will uh, decrease the account of the partner so for this purpose what they do is they prepare the uh, revaluation account and in revaluation account whenever there is an increase in the asset and decrease in the uh, liability we write it on the credit side and vice versa on the debit side that is increase in the liability and decrease in the asset we'll put it on the debit side now i'll be showing you the account it will be more clear to you how to write the revaluation account and uh, once uh, i 
uh, finish explaining this uh, revaluation account please see to it that partners capital account and revaluation account uh, be prepared with them uh, tomorrow I will be putting a test on it all right have a look at the revaluation account now so here we begin with the revaluation account uh, account already I have told you that uh, the assets and liabilities that is what uh, the revaluation is being done about so to begin with the first journal entry it will be increase in the value of asset so the value when it is increasing asset it says that debit what comes in because the value is increasing we will debit asset account and revaluation account as already I have said it is a no uh, nominal account and revaluation nominal account rules it says that debit all expenses and losses and credit all incomes and gains because increase in the value of asset is an income to the organization we will be create crediting revaluation account and within brackets you can just write increase in the value of asset so this is going to be your first journal entry and when we post it in revaluation account this is how it will be revaluation account particulars and amount already i have put particulars and amount okay increase in the value of asset in revaluation it has to be credited because we are preparing revaluation account by assets account within brackets you'll write increase in the value and you'll put the amount the next journal entry that is going to be decrease in the value of asset which will be reverse of this entry dear students revaluation account debited to asset account because revaluation is an expense so we will be debiting revaluation account it is debited and asset account will be credited okay so this is going to be decrease in the value of asset here revaluation account we have to show it on the debit side what will show asset asset account decrease in the value of asset okay you know how to post the journal entries into account all right the next journal entry now we are done with assets we'll see the liabilities in case if there is increase in liability how the journal entry will be increase in liability is always an expense that is why revaluation account as per the rule debit all expenses and losses we will and it is because of liabilities that will be credited okay so this is increase in the value of liabilities opposite will be decrease in the value of liabilities how will write liabilities decrease in the value of liabilities it becomes an income while revaluating assets and liabilities so we will credit revaluation account and this income because we have got of liabilities liabilities is the opposite transaction we will debit that okay so here just see increase in the value of liability revaluation account has to be debited so revaluation account we will write the opposite entry that is liabilities account and we'll put it increase in value likewise by liabilities account decrease in value that is the fourth journal entry fifth journal entry will be regarding the unrecorded assets if there are any assets which are not recorded in the books of accounts we will record it so that is how the income of the company increases so here revaluation becomes an income account credit all incomes and gains and this income has come because of assets so assets will be debited okay so revaluation credit side will show assets account if unrecorded assets unrecorded liabilities is an expense while revaluating so revaluation will be debited it is because of liabilities so we will credit liabilities okay unrecorded liabilities you can see all these journal entries in your textbook dear students on page number 165 all right so here we have put the amounts now unrecorded liabilities any two liabilities account if unrecorded liabilities okay this is how it will be written now this side we have written what is you know uh, income to the company and this side all expenses we have written 
so here the expenditure side or let us say where the amount of uh, asset decrease and liabilities increase it is profit to us we'll balance both the sides if you get a debit balance it is profit if you get credit balance it is a loss so how do we write the journal entry for that so this profit and loss which we have got we'll be transferring it this will be shared among the old partners in their old ratio old partners will share in their old ratio okay so how it is going to come the revaluation to old partners capital account in partners capital account if you remember all the incomes of the partners we put it on the credit side that is why any profit being transferred we'll write it on the credit side any loss that will be written on the debit side so because it has to be written on the credit side whatever profit we are getting in uh, revaluation it will be put up on the credit side of the partners capital account and whenever we get loss that will be posted on the debit side of partners capital account and this loss we have got while doing the revaluation so revaluation will be shown on the credit side okay because debit side of partners capital account we are showing so what is the heading we are going to put revaluation over there and we'll show the loss account so this is how you'll be uh, doing the journal entries and the account of revaluation dear students so now already i have told once again i'm telling tomorrow i'll be conducting a zoom meeting in that i'll ask you the formats of partners capital account and revaluation account whomever i'll uh, ask to that particular girl has to answer so be prepared all the very best with your preparation thank you students for attending the class